All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a PS3 tutorial for you. This is the uh, new version of Multiman. This is the uh, Multiman version 4.46.03 and the stealth version. Now, what I have done for you is in this file that I have you download, if you extract it and open it up, you're going to need WinRAR or a uh, RAR. Uh, well, it's a zip archive, so you should just be able to open this with 7-zip. If not, then get WinRAR, but you won't need that necessarily. Anyways, what I've done is I've taken the uh, 4.46 Multiman install package right here, and I've renamed it uh, installpkg.pkg, and you have a readme text and the report data.txt. And uh, basically today I'm going to show you how to install the stealth version of Multiman uh, with the uh, updated configuration of uh, the last one that I made a video on, which was 4.46.01, I believe. So, when you download these files and open up the extraction folder, go to your USB that you use for your installation of package files, and on the root of the USB stick, you're going to take this install package and drag and drop that onto the root of the USB. Allow that to copy over, and I will move and replace this just for the sake of the video to show you that I'm not giving you two-face bullshit, so, uh, which is what I usually like to do in the first place is to make sure everything is up to speculation. So once you've done that, you will see the install packages on the root of the USB. Now I have an old report data.txt in here. I'm going to delete that because I'll be using the new one. So just drag and drop this report data over here into this, into the root of the USB as we did in the first place and allow that to copy over like so. Now once you have the install package and the report data.txt, or the text document, on the root of the USB stick, it's now time to go to the PS3. Now there's several different ways to install this. I'm going to be going over with the most basic way on how to do it, and uh, that's about it. Also if you want to have a referral on how to do that, just open up this readme text document and it is all there and it will tell you how to install it. Uh, you know, method one, method two, this, that, blah, blah, blah. So, but it ain't that hard. So, once you do that, review your text, I guess, if you feel like it, and uh, we'll just go to the PS3. So, I'll meet you guys there, and we'll go install the stealth version of Multiman. So, I'll be right back, and we will do the rest of this momentarily. Alright, so here we are at the PS3, and simply all we're going to do is scroll over here to... Uh, the uh, install package files and if you click on that you'll see the install package now what I'm gonna have you do first is uh, simply just come down here and I'm gonna go to my, yeah, my backup managers and just for the sake of this video I will be deleting this multi-man here now this is my multi-man or whatever and I'm just gonna go and delete it and this is my stealth version multi-man as you can see it's like 2,000 fucking megabytes, uh, but I'm just going to remove that real quick, <coughs> just for the sake of this video. Alright, so now that my multi-man has been removed, what I'm going to do now is go to install packages and go down to the install package. I like starting things off fresh uh, just for the sake of, you know, saying, hey, it can be done. So what you're going to do is hit X on install package. Now if you have a rebug firmware, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this and you're going to go to where it says uh, basic package folder and uh, or basic package location and it will be the root of your USB. So you can do it that way. And once you find this, click X on install package. Allow that to install. Alrighty, it's installing. Alright, now that it has been installed, now what you're going to do is if I scroll down here to my unknown, you will see that it lists Multiman. There's Multiman, right? So, moving on. Now come over here, and what you're going to want to do is reboot your PS3 system. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot that real quick. So just turn it off, do a hard boot. Allow it to turn off fully and then turn it back on. Alright, turning it back on now. 
I know, black screen, it's pleasant, but I'm going to talk to you through the whole thing. And here we go, coming back up now. Here's PS3, and now what we're going to do, why is this orange? <laughs> there we go. And now what you're going to do is scroll back over to the game section now, and let's go down to the unknown folder that I have here, or wherever you have it located, let's make sure Multiman is still there. And uh, hit triangle on Multiman, and what you're going to do is look at the information. Look at the information there, go down, and you'll see it's 41 megabytes, version 4.46 come back up do the same process the install package files or the rebug way of doing it I don't really remember and instead of hitting X on install package you're gonna hit start when you hit start it will ask you the same version is already installed do you want to continue hit yes hit yes on that and allow it to install now this is not installing the package it will be installing the uh, um, the report data information that we put on the root of the USB. Hit circle to go back and scroll down to the unknown here. And if we go to unknown, triangle, information, scroll down to the bottom, should be 41 megabytes still. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to hit start on multi man or not. All right, X. <laughs> Let's boot up multi man. So booting up Multiman, now I advise doing this not connected to anything, so you can be connected to the, um, whatever, you can be connected to the internet, uh, but don't be connected to PSN for the sake of safety issues, and uh, just agree to all three of these pages, because it's a fresh install of Multiman, <clears throat> and then it will apply the standard theme, please wait, and then after that you should see a little loader bar thingy come up right there, the little refresh circular thing circling around like so. Now, you can do this with DEX firmware as well, so don't fret, you can do that with that, and uh, we come down here, you notice my SingStar Multiman is available. Now, uh, there's a new Showtime player and this and that, and I will be getting to videos with that. But for the time being, this is what you're going to be looking at. Now, the key, um, for a little thing to say, um, <clears throat> your PS2 Classics Manager, and if you have SingStar installed, it should pop up inside this Multiman. That will confirm that you are running the Stealth version. So now, I'm just going to go and quit back to the XMB real quick and quitting back to the XMB now now and then let's scroll down to the game section unknown folder multi-man information scroll down to information and you should see that it's a larger size that is the stealth man modules have been installed so this Multiman is now a stealth version of Multiman. Again, you can do this with DEX. The install package inside this zip file is uh, uh, for CEX only, uh, but I will have the DEX and CEX um, installs uh, package files underneath in the description below for download as well. So the links will be there for the ones that you need. Just make sure you rename it install pkg. Uh, dot pkg. So. Rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, enjoy your new version of Multiman, and as always, have a wonderful day. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So, check out my website, software-reborn.com, where you can get the latest news and all the latest downloads there. And uh, follow me on Twitter, at DeathRain333, which will soon be changing to software